How to find the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence? Learn how in this video. Hi learners! Today we're going to talk about arithmetic series. So what is an arithmetic series? An arithmetic series is the sum of the terms of an arithmetic sequence, and it involves the following formulas. So again, uh, sa arithmetic series or sa pagkuha ng arithmetic series, we have two formulas. First formula, we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 times the quantity A sub 1 plus A sub N. So yung first form formula natin is gagamitin lang natin pag given yung a sub n. So, ano ba yung a sub n? Yung a sub n is yung uh, last term or yung n term natin. Next formula, we have here, s sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity 2a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. This formula, magagamit lang natin siya pag yung n term or yung last term natin is not given. Okay? Let's recall yung mga variables na uh, ginagamit sa formulas natin. So when we say S sub N, this is the sum of the terms or the sum of the arithmetic sequence. Pag sinabi na natin N, N stands for the number of terms. Ang A sub 1 naman natin is the first term. And again, ang A sub N is our N term or our last term. And of course, D is our common difference. So, let's have some example para mas lalo nyo maintindihan yung formulas natin. Example number one. Find the sum of the first 20 terms of the arithmetic sequence if A sub 1 is equal to 5 and A sub 20 is equal to 62. So, the first step is to list all the given para may guide tayo kung ano yung uh, missing o nawawala. So, let's try to even. So, Naka-indicate na sa problem, we have a sub 1, 5, and a sub 20 is equal to 62. Okay. So, since we're looking for the sum of the 20 terms, so, automatic, the number of terms or yung value ng n natin would be equal to 20 as well. Okay. So, yung inahanap natin is yung sum ng first 20 terms. Kaya, si S sub N or S sub 20 is missing. Okay. Next thing to do is to determine kung saan formula yung or kung anong formula ang gagamitin natin. The first one or the second one. If we're going to analyze, uh, yung given natin, binigay ang first term at the same time yung last term or ang ating uh, N term. So in this case, gagamitin natin si first formula. Okay, kasi nga, yung a sub n natin na a sub 20 ay given. So let's write the formula. S sub n is equal to n over 2 times the quantity a sub 1 plus a sub n quantity. And the next thing to do is to substitute the given. So, we're going to look for the sum of the first 20 terms. So, ang n, uh, we're going to replace it by 20. And n is 20 divided by 2. Yung 2 natin dito is a constant. So, hindi ko na pinakita yung derivation ng formula. Okay. a sub 1 would be 5 plus a sub n or the 20th term is uh, 60 or the last term, 62. So, let's simplify. S sub 20 is equal to, you can divide, 20 divided by 2, that would be equal to 10. Tapos, i-add natin yung nasa loob ng parenthesis. 5 plus 62, we will have 67. And finally, we're going to multiply the 2. So, 10 times 67, that would be equal to 670. So, In short, the sum of the first 20 terms of this given sequence or this given arithmetic sequence is equal to 
670. Let's have now the second example. So find the sum of the first 12 terms of the arithmetic sequence negative 2, negative 6, negative 10, and so on. Okay, so same sa ginawa natin sa problem number 1. Una, susulat muna natin yung mga given. So the given are the following. We have a sub 1, or the first term is given, we have negative 2. Next would be the number of terms. So since sinahanap yung sum ng first 12 terms, so ibig sabihin nito, uh, we have 12 terms sa uh, given arithmetic sequence natin. So, we're going to write n would be equal to 12. Okay, next. We can also use common difference. Okay. Again, paano ba kukunin yung common difference? Any term minus the term preceding it. Or minus a term na na nauna na sa kanya. Okay, so in this case, we can consider the first two terms. Recap lang natin. We can have a sub 2 minus a sub 1. So, ang a sub 2 natin is negative 6 minus the term preceding it or yung term na nauna sa kanya which is negative 2. So, it will become negative 6 negative times negative. So, ang change yung side will become positive 2. Therefore, yung common difference natin would be negative 6 plus 2 is equal to negative 4. But then again, pwede na na hindi nyo pakita yung solution. Okay? So, narikap ko lang kung paano siya kukunin yung common difference natin. Then, uh, ano pa? Do we have the last term? Okay? Given ba sa problem yung last term? So, hindi given yung last term. Okay? And, what we're going to uh, look for is the sum of the first 12 terms. Ibig sabihin, we're going to look for S sa uh, 12. So, gaya ng sinabi yung kanina, mapapansin natin na ellipsis lang yung nakalagay at hindi given yung last term or yung 12th term natin. So, sa madaling salita, we're going to decide now kung ano yung formula na gagamitin natin. Would it be formula number 1 or formula number 2? So, again, since hindi given yung last term, we're going to use the second formula. So right now, the formula, we have S sub N is equal to N over 2 times the quantity of 2A sub 1 plus the quantity of N minus 1 times D. Okay, so after writing the formula, we can now substitute yung mga given natin. So again, inahanap natin si S sub 12. N is equal to 12 over 2. 2 times a sub 1. So, ilalagay natin sa loob ng parenthesis yung value ng a sub 1. a sub 1 is negative 2. Plus, n is equal to 12 minus 1. Constant yung value natin ng 1 at saka 2 dito. Then, d is equal to negative 4. So, times negative 4. Huwag kalimutan na ilalagay o ilagay si a common difference sa loob ng parenthesis kasi yung operation nila dito sa gitna is multiplication. Let's simplify. So, S sub 12, 12 divided by 2 is 6. Then, we can uh, simultaneously operate. Okay? As long as hindi natin uh, malabag yung PEMDAS at saka or GEMDAS na rules natin. So, 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. Plus, Okay, kung nasa tarit, this is 12 minus 1 is equal to 11 times negative 4. So, S sub 12 is equal to 6 times negative 4. Then, i-multiply natin ito. 11 times negative 4 is equal to negative 44. So, automatic, ilalagay natin dito. Negative 44 or minus 44. Then, continue. We have 6. Then, negative 4 minus 44. So, since like sign sila, we're going to add then copy the common sign. The answer is negative 48. Okay. So, 
So, yung last natin would be uh, multiplying 6 and negative 48. So, 6 times negative 48, we have uh, 6 times 8, 48, 4, 6 times 4, uh, 24, plus 4 is 28. Okay, so since positive times negative, the answer is negative. So, ang sum ng first 12 terms ng given arithmetic sequence natin would be equal to negative 288. Down with our last problem. Problem number 3. Find the sum of the first 15 terms of the arithmetic sequence 15, 18, 21, 24, and so on. So, first step, uh, write all the given. A sub 1 is equal to 15. The common difference, we have 18 minus 15. So that would be equal to 3. And N, or the number of terms, is equal to 15. Kasi nga, inahanap natin yung sum of 15 terms. So we have 15 terms. Or that N is equal to 15. Next, uh, we're looking for S sub 15. Yeah. And as you can observe, same sa number 2, hindi nakasulat si last term. Okay? So since hindi nakasulat si last term, anong formula yung gagamitin natin? So ang gagamitin natin na formula would be the second formula again. Okay, so right now the solution, let's write again the formula S sub N is equal to N over 2 times the quantity 2 times A sub 1 plus the quantity N minus 1 times D. After that, we're going to substitute yung mga given natin. So, hinahanap natin si S sub 15 or ang sum ng first 15 integers. Then N is equal to 15 over 2 times the quantity of 2 times a sub 1. a sub 1 is 15. Plus the quantity n. n is equal to 15. Uh, minus 1 times d. Ang common difference natin ay equal to 3. So, nilalagay pa rin natin sa loob ng parenthesis. Simplify natin. 15 divided by 2 is equal to 7.5. Times the quantity 2 times 15, we will have positive 30. Plus, 15 minus 1 is 14, then copy times 3. Okay. Let's continue. S sub 15 is equal to 7.5, then copy 30, then simplify natin itong dalawa. 14 times 3. So, 14 times 3, 3 times 4, we have 12, carry 1, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1, we have 4. So, we have 42. Then, simplify, 7.5 times 30 plus 42. So, yung mapapansin nyo, yung last step natin is, minumultiply natin yung nasa labas ng uh, grouping symbol natin. Okay? Kasi nga sinusunod natin yung PEMDAS na rules. Okay. 30 plus 42. 30 plus 42, we have 72. And finally, S sub 15 is equal to uh, 7.5 times 72 would be equal to 540. Therefore, the sum of the, 15, uh, the first 15 terms of this arithmetic sequence is equal to 540. Now it's your turn. Try to answer the following questions. And that's a wrap. Please do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel, Sir Nino. And you can also post your math problems in the comment section. And we will do our very best to provide solution to your questions. Because remember, every problem has a solution. At kung math ang problema ninyo, Ako ang kagapay ninyo, ako ang Sir Ninyo.